Hey everyone, Tragic MTG here. It's time to open up a box of Ikoria for a patron. This is for Jacob Newland, who uh, has sponsored this box of Ikoria. We're gonna go through it, see if we can get any cool beasts, Godzillas, and everything out of this. Uh, I'm actually going to bust open these packs and scan up the rares and see if we can get Jacob some value out of this. We are going to do the box topper, which this one looks like it came intact. I had one the other day that got kind of munched in the box. Let's hope that does not happen to any of these other boxes. Let's go ahead and open up this box topper. Let's see what we can get for Jacob here. Hopefully something real nice right off the bat. Here we've got, hey, that's decent, King Caesar. Awoken Titan, Mythic, Alternate, Showcase, whatever you want to call it. And can I get the scanner to even see it? Sometimes it does not like foils and the glare is an issue. So, ah, there it is. King Caesar is 12 bucks. Let me fix this up just a little bit. Aha, there we go. First Mythic of the day right there. Mythic pile. Okay, pack number one. And so I figured this out the other day. The best way to open these packs is upside down and not using the little pull tab thing. Here we go. Token Island and an Obosh, the Prey Piercer, and a Rael, the Everwise are our first pack. Foil and a Mythic. Very cool. Let's see. Can we get it to see it? There we go. This one is a foil. And it's also not an extended art. <laughs> Scanner needs some work. Regular foil version, a buck ninety-nine. That's alright. It's gonna add up here. Regular Rael, let's see. That one scanned up pretty easy. There we go. Alright, we're gonna pull out all of the showcase and kind of just put the commons and uncommons over here all this stuff's going to get sent to jacob let's get in a rhythm here let's get going here We've got 36 packs to go through well i thought i thought these were going to be easy to open like that definitely were okay let's try that again i had a box the other day i just could not do any of those Let's see a gem razor in foil, so that's two foils in a row. And a voracious great shark. Let's see. Gem razor. Foil version. It's a buck. Voracious great shark. Less than a buck. And we'll put it right there. Anything else of interest there? Showcase wise? Nothing really. Okay. Let's go, there we go. That's what I was looking for, is an easy open pack. Rare is a Hunted Nightmare. Very cool. Not a big one. Just looking for these showcases. There's one, so we'll pull that and put it here. If we make a separate foil, rare, showcase, pile, doesn't matter. I think it does. There we go. Token planes, a flourishing fox, three foils in a row in these packs right here. And we got an alternate art, Zagoth Triome. Very cool. This one, I don't think I'm going to scan the Triome as an alternate art. Block out some of that. 9.96. We're, we're on our way here. Um, there we go. Any other alternates? Just kind of going to go through this quickly. Looking for those rares. Looking for those mythics. Token punch out thing and a Rogrin Triumph. So there's another good little hit right there yep six bucks or so 
Love the alternate arts. Comic book style. It's right up my alley, I gotta say. Token Cove and a Death's Oasis. Glare problem right there. Nothing big there. Parcel Beast. Okay. Next pack. That one opened up pretty easy. Soldier. A lot of soldiers. We got an alternate Cavern Whisper and a Vivian Monsters Advocate. There's a good pack. This turned out to be a pretty good box right here. Foil Cavern Whisperer. Probably nothing big. The Vivian in the alternate art. Can it be seen? Come on, glare. You're killing me here. So it doesn't like that one. We're going to add that one in. Vivian. Is it with an E? Monsters. Advocate. Borderless. Fifteen twenty-eight. I'm not even sure if that's the right one. It's the promo pack version. No image available. Oh well. Let's go with that. Fifteen bucks. We assume there's a majestic oracorn. Nothing else for alternates there. Moving along here. Crunch for time as usual, so I gotta get this going here. These packs are now a mystery to me, so I've had trouble opening them on the side, I've had trouble opening them upside down, I just have trouble. Shark Typhoon cannot be scanned either. Oh, 362, pretty decent. And a Parcel Beast. There we go. Um, okay. No table required, as usual. And we got a Kahira, the Orphan Guard. Whoops. Got cards flipping everywhere. There we go. A Nar. Nothing much else. There we go. Let's try it this way. Yeah. I don't know. Some of them upside down, some of them right side up. Just cannot win. There's a Cub Warden. No additional alternates. Backwater and a Lutri, the Spell Shaper. I'm sorry, Spell Chaser. You got Spell Chasers, you got Spell Shapers in this game. Could go either way, right? Wolpakeet. There we go. Come on. Open it up. There we go. Quartzwood Crasher. 50 cents. Porky Parrot. And no alternates. I like the alternates. I think I've mentioned that before. There's some tokens and a Blitz Leech as a foil and a Lava Brink Venturer. Let's see, foils. I don't know. You guys know me and my piles. Sometimes they make sense, sometimes they don't. Next pack. Nope. Can't do it that way. Barely do it that way. Got a Mythos of Snapdax. Alright, I'm going to have to do something about this growing pile. And look for any showcase arts. None there. Obosh, the Prey Piercer, the regular version. 
92 cents. We're getting there. We're adding it up. Prickly Marmoset. That's fun. Whoops. Colossification. Just a bit. Cloud Piercer. Okay. Yeah. I don't think I like the Japanese packs. That's just me, though. Got a The Ozolith. Five bucks. There we go. Put that one in the five buck pile. Next up. So many human soldiers. Got a cunning night bonder and a song of creation. There's a buck 41 right there in the buck 41 pile. Lord Dracus. Very cool alternate art on this one. Looking for some more mythics. Just a couple so far. Frondland Felidar. Porky Parrot for an alternate. There we go. Porky Parrot is yoked there. Okay. Nope. Tranquil Cove, a Foil Plains, and a Zerta the Dawn Waker. There we go. Perfect. Just like that. Zerta is a buck ninety-three, and yep, that pile's just fine, just like that. Dreamtail Heron. Next up, try him upside down again. Nope, nope. There's got to be an easier way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Usually I can't do the side thing. I've been trying to avoid it, but maybe I just need to go back to it. Mythos of Brakos. 40 cents. And no alternates. Alright, let's try it. See, it doesn't go all the way down. Still end up having to do the thing anyway. We got a Mythos of Netheroy. 75 cents on the scanner. Okay, well that one worked out really well, so... I have no explanation for it. Gust of Wind and the Snapdax Apex of the Hunt. Mythic number four for the box. Two bucks, a two dollar Mythic. Come on, that's got to be a good card, right? Mutated up. See? See, that's what I'm talking about. You only get a little corner, and you still have to peel it open. Scour Barons and an Unlikely Aid and an Evercool Phoenix. There we go. 42 cents. down to the bottom of this box now tokens and a crystalline giant just 50 cents and no alternate commons that one opened up real nice so if they did that every time I'd be happy Whirlwind of Thought. 69 cents. Nice. Alright, well. That's just what I'll try from now on. Unpredictable Cyclone. 40 cents. Nice. Nice. 
Okay. So this box, they actually did the packs correctly, apparently. I got a Kinnon Bonder Prodigy. This is one of the better mythics in the set. Mythic number five. 12 bucks. There we go. Wild Bonders and nothing else there. There's room for one more mythic, I think, out of this box. Okay. All right. Here we go. Titan's Nest. See it? Come on. There we go. 55 cents. Okay. It's like a dream now. Got a Bonders Enclave for the rare. 61 cents. And a Cavern Whisperer. Great. Now I can't. I've got no complaints. They open up perfectly every time. Should have been doing that since the beginning. Narset Emblem. Let's see. Is that worth anything? It actually is a buck 68. And an exuberant wolf bear. And an alternate showcase Evercool Phoenix. Very nice. Let's see what it thinks about that. Sometimes it does not like the borderless version. 71 cents, but it's gorgeous art though. There you go. And it looks like we got another one all the way at the end here. Dreamtail Heron, which does not go in that pile. Very cool. All right, sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. Wing Scarred Crag and a Garuda, Doom of Depths. A couple bucks still in the couple buck pile. No. Grand Stinger and Eerie Ultimatum. Probably my favorite art of the Ultimatums. And it is a dollar. Okay. Three packs left. That opened so nicely. Sharknado. All right. And a Ketria Triumph. So the Triumphs, I think, are going to. Stand the test of time here. Six bucks there. And anything else? Nothing big there. Okay. Come on. One more mythic would be great out of this box. Thornwood Falls and Inspired Ultimatum. That looks pretty cool too, I gotta say. Not a big one though. All right, last pack. Come on, one more mythic. Dinosaur Island, Emergent Ultimatum. Now oh, that was it. So the Emergent Ultimatum, fifty-eight cents. All right. Oh, and an insatiable hemophage to that pile, and that is it. So thank you very much, Jacob, for the sponsored box opening i'll be sending these off to you here shortly everyone else thanks for watching make sure to check out my other videos like subscribe do the youtube stuff and i'll catch you next one